Sid Van Stassen here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Yellowwood 500 at Talladega today. So yeah, so let's get started. So as we know, Chase Elliott managed to pull through at the end, at, at the last moment, and managed to win his fifth race of the year at Talladega Super Speedway. I mean, I mean, throughout the playoffs, non-playoff drivers have been winning, which have been Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Chris Buescher, and Tyler Reddick. But today, that changed, and now our first real playoff driver won, uh, won in the playoffs this year. So, yeah, so, I mean, kind of you can count Reddick, but, I mean, he was already eliminated after Bristol. So, yeah, so, I mean, just so. Yeah, so basically the first driver that's in the playoffs right now finally won a race. So, yeah, I mean, I mean it was a battle between Elliott and Blaney here of who was going to get it. I mean, both of them were in the playoffs along with... These two back here, Chastain and Hamlin, I mean, McDowell right here was not in the playoffs, but he was fighting out for a win. But, yeah, I mean, he didn't get at the end here. But, yeah, I mean, just, but, I mean, he, he did his best, but he just didn't have enough at the end. But, yeah, I mean, just, but, yeah. But, I mean, I mean overall, I'm glad that Chase won today since he's one, one of my favorites. But I do feel bad for Blaney, though, since he was so close on winning. But, yeah, I mean, so... Hopefully, though, Blaney can at least win a race before the end of the year, but we'll just see. So, yeah, and as we come back here, we have the incidents right here, but it was really not a lot right here, to be honest. I mean, we only had one big wreck, and that was in stage one, and it was an incident with LaJoy, and it was also a caution for Hermic, which was with, like, six to go, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, so, but about that big wreck, though, I mean, that started because, I believe, Stenhouse turned Harrison Burden, which caused a multi-car wreck, which caused Ty Gibbs, uh, Ty Gibbs, Justin Allgaier in the 62, Lugano, and Justin Haley to also be involved, and also the 48 car, which, um, yeah, the driver of the 48 was changed because Alex Bowman was out this week due to concussion symptoms after Texas, so... Noah Gregson sub, uh, subbed for him in the 48, and I believe he finished maybe 14th, I think, but I can't really remember. I'll have to look back on the results later, so yeah, but yeah, so I mean, so that's uh, that there, so I mean, at least a good run for Gregson. I mean, he was running in the top five at one point, but just, he just didn't have enough at the end to get into the top ten. So yeah, I mean, just, but he did at least good. I mean, hopefully though, he will be able to perform well when he goes to Petty GMS Racing next year. But, yeah, I mean, so, hopefully, though, he'll be able to do well there, so, yeah, so, yeah, but, I mean, just, but, overall, I mean, the racing today was, uh, the racing today was really good, I mean, as always, at Super Speedways, I mean, this race was pretty much better than yesterday's Xfinity race, which was mostly boring at, at most parts, but was exciting at the end, I mean, and the truck race was also pretty exciting as well, with a, a close finish at the end because of a yellow flag, but, yeah, I mean, uh, but, yeah, of course, De Benedetto and Almendinger were the winners from those races. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy that De Benedetto won the truck race since I've been a fan of him for a long time and he finally did it and won a race. So, glad for him and I'm glad for Almendinger as well. But I was kind of hoping Sam Mayer would have won that there. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, he'll he'll eventually get a win. So, yeah, but I mean, just, but those races were good overall. But, yeah, I mean, so, yep, but yeah, I mean, just, but, that's that there, but I mean, just yeah, so just yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, really enjoyed the racing today. I mean, yeah, and I believe there was around like 50 lead changes overall. So, yeah, I mean, that was really cool right there. So, yeah, I mean, just so glad that happened there. And, and see, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, but I'm honestly surprised though, there was only one big wreck. I mean, I mean, of course, Talladega is known for big wrecks and wild finishes, and we basically had a wild finish there, but not not really a lot of big rags i mean i mean maybe this race was pretty much like um um 2021 the 2021 spring race where there was only like one major wreck and that was Lugano flipping over and there were not a lot of incidents like there was like um I'm trying to think yeah i mean there was one where town spun on pit road um Quinn Huff, um, crash in the wall. I mean, I know we don't talk about Quinn Huff that much anymore. And, yeah, I mean, and there was also an incident for Trick spinning out and Trick's, and Trick's tire cutting down. And also there was an incident, and there was two incidents on the last lap where Jones and Chastain also crashed.
But yeah, I mean, just, there was not a lot of influence in that race there. But yeah, I mean, just so, I mean, even though my third least favorite driver, Brad Kozlowski, won that race there. Sure, I still think the better that I should have won that race still, even a year later. But yeah, I mean, just, but just, but that's that there. So yeah, but I mean, just overall, just not a lot of influence today. So yeah, and and now with um this race done, now Chase Elliott locks his spot into the next round, which he's the only one that is in right now, because no one else is locked in yet because of Reddick's win at, at Texas. So yeah, I mean, just but yeah, I mean, as, from what I remember, um, the bottom four right now are Cindric, Byron, Bell, and Bowman. But I mean, of course, Bowman was still below it since he's not he was not in the race, but. We'll find out if Bowman is going to be racing at the Roval this week. I mean, we've not heard an official word if he's racing this week or not. So, we're going to find out soon enough on if, if he is racing this week at the Roval. But, we'll find out what will happen with him. But, I do hope that he get, he can race soon. I mean, just... Yeah, I mean, it's, especially with this next-gen car here not having a good safety thing so yeah i mean i have been thinking about maybe doing a talk video about the about the next gen so yeah likely i might do one but i haven't decided yet if i am going to do it or not so stay tuned if i am going to do it so yeah but yeah i mean just but just, yeah i mean there's just not a lot into today i mean i mean if, i mean like originally no gregson was gonna be the 62 this week but because he was filling in for bowman all guy all guy instead just took over the 62 car which, yeah, I mean, he finished, I think, a lap down. And, yeah, even Tyler Reddick also was running well. But he, I think he had some sort of issue at the end of Stage 2. I think it was a fuel issue, but I couldn't tell. But, yeah, I mean, just, but, but that's that there. So, yeah, but, I mean, just, overall, good race today. But, yeah, just, yeah. And I have a feeling, though, the Roval this week is going to be crazy. I mean, there could be lots of chaos this, uh, this weekend for the Roval. I mean... You never know what's going to happen here. Like, I mean, Briscoe, he's the last guy in. And Suarez, he's in currently. Like, I don't know who I'm picking to be out this week. I mean, I do think Bowman will likely be out if he races this week. But if he, if he does not, then Bowman will be eliminated from the playoffs. I mean, Bell, he, I mean, he could have a shot. Byron, maybe, too. And, yeah, and, and, um... Who else could have a shot? Oh, yeah. Suarez may have a chance because he won at Sonoma. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, who knows what what's going to happen this week? I mean, we could have a shocking elimination, but you never know what's going to happen this week at the Roval. But we're going to find out who will be the four drivers eliminate and who will move on to the final eight, which will decide who will advance to the final four after and, and, and who advance to the final four in the round of eight. So we'll find out. So yeah, but that's what I have to say about the race there. I mean, and as for um videos this week, um, expecting normal ones and just training videos, of course. I'll see what else if I what else I upload. I mean, I heard there might be a CSX oil train coming soon with an SC70 Mac leading, but haven't I don't know for sure yet. So yeah, so stay tuned for that there if it does come. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I basically have to say there. So, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.